morning here. Um, I'm trying to clear out some of the smaller trees in this area. We're trying to get, I don't know if you can see, but the sun is coming and the panels are kind of right behind you. And we're trying to get the trees thinned out just a little bit so that the sun can hit those panels earlier in the morning because this is where the sun comes up. And we kind of decided we wanted to clean up some of these trees and push it back because it's kind of growing in onto the lawn. So um, I've been using my uh, steel GTA 26 and cutting some of these smaller trees down that I can cut and I've been limbing them and then cutting them up into firewood size. Um, and I'll show you that I put them in my groundworks cart and I'm going to take them over to probably the fire pit area. And because they're small and we can use them when we have a fire outside or something. So some of the bigger stuff Scott will have to deal with. I'm cleaning up the little stuff so he can come in with his big chainsaw and he can down some of these trees that I can't cut with this guy here. Uh, very small blade, a uh, very small bar, I should say, and a small chain. And it's not very big, but man, this thing will get stuff done on the little stuff and on the limbing. So I can do that part. Uh, the battery is holding up for me pretty good. I've just oiled the bar and I don't have a lot, a lot of battery left. I'm trying to run it down dead and then I'll charge it back up again so that I can start up again. But I just wanted to show you guys what, what was going on over here and some of the size of the wood that I'm using with my GTA 26. It can take some pretty good sized wood. Uh, of course, the battery is not going to last as long, but if you only have a couple big trees that you want to get rid of, it'll work pretty darn good, especially if you want to cut it up for firewood or, or fire pit wood or whatever. <clears throat> so I'll show you what I got over here. Okay, so this is one of the trees that I uh, cut down with this guy. It's a pretty good size. I can't get my hands all the way around it. It's a pretty good sized uh, tree. I don't know. I can't, I'm not good at telling how big around they are, but it's a nice size. Um, and of course it gets even bigger down near the bottom. And I've already limbed this one for the most part. I've got a couple of, couple of them here. Get rid of you. And so I just... that off, cut that off, and then see how big around this guy is here, and let's cut this off, so, There we go. Cut that guy off. That's a pretty good round piece. See that? That cut that. What I did was as I was cutting, I'd stop, pull the saw out, and I'd turn it. Because it's small enough, I can. And then I started in on another part. And I just kept going around until I could get it all. Then my battery's dead, or pretty much dead, so. It probably would have gone right through it if it hadn't have been. There we go. Chicken, seriously? So what happens is, is it'll die. This is your battery um, where you can check for your, see what your battery is. Let's see, I got you in there? Yeah. Okay, so you can check, and usually it'll get down to that last little block, and you can saw for a while, and then it'll stop, and then it'll flash green. And then once it stops flashing green, you can still cut, but you gotta give it a second. So, 
See right now it says I have one bar, but if I cut too much, it'll start flashing. I'll try and catch it on the camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, it doesn't last very long, so, but I'll show you. Let's do this one here. Okay, can you see that green flashing light? So it stops cutting and it flashes, but if you let it stop flashing and give it a second, it sometimes still has enough power to finish cutting. Um, eventually it'll just be dead and you'll have to charge it. There we go. So even though it said this was dead, it still cut that piece off. Let's see if we can keep going. There we go, flashing light. It stopped. We're about all the way cut through here. A little bit. Oh, we may be totally gone this time. I, it took me a while to learn this. I thought once it stopped and it, it the flashed the green that it wasn't complete, that it was completely dead, but it wasn't. So you wanna make sure it's completely dead and then you can charge it. It definitely helps the battery. These types of batteries you wanna run completely dead and then you can charge them right up. All right, let's see what happens. And again, but it cut all the way through. Look at that. Even though it was dead, it said, here we go. Some more wood for the pyre fire pit or what have you. So this one's just a little piece. I was gonna do some limbing. Oh, it's flashing again. Give it a second. And this is your safety, guys. You can't pull this trigger. It won't, it won't pull until you push down on this and then pull on your trigger. So that is your safety, and it's your only safety. And they have it on both sides. And then, of course, this top, which is awesome. And it tells you to use both hands, like mm -hmm. one on top while you're cutting. Mm -hmm. I can't do that and hold up on sticks like this at the same time, but really that's your best thing to do. Let's see if I can show you. So they got this nice little place to put your hand. And that keeps it from jumping back. But even if it does jump back, which I really haven't had it do very badly, this thing will stop. You know, if it does hit you somewhere from the top, this guard here stops it. So that works really nicely. So let's see if we can cut up some more of this little guy until the battery's completely dead. It is kind of monotonous, but I want to run my battery down dead so that when I charge it up, it charges up fully. And it's just good for it to do that. These kind of batteries, it's good for. But man, I love this thing. It's so lightweight. It works so good. I did have a problem with it though. So in using this guy, I did have a problem with it. Um, the blade, I'm sorry, the chain and the bar, the chain was loose on the bar and I couldn't get it tight. My hands aren't all that good. Um, and sometimes uh, I'd be cutting probably about four or five times. I'd cut through something and then all of a sudden the chain would jump off the bar in a spot and it wouldn't turn anymore. So I'd take my cap off, my little cover, this guy here, and you unscrew all that. But there's a little notch in your bar and you want to make sure that you get that pulled all the way out, set in place and so that your bar is out as far as it can go so when your chain goes on 
it uh, and you want to put your chain on before you you tighten it and then uh, pull your bar out with your fingers and hold it and then turn turn your cover so that it um, is nice and tight because the chain gets loose and it jumps off that bar I was having trouble with that and I was like I can't every five cuts I was um, you know messing with that and I'm like I can't keep doing I can't keep stopping to mess with this I'm not getting anything done I felt like so I took it into Scott who's stronger than I am obviously and he and he knows more about chainsaws he's like you got to keep that bar tight so you pull you put your chain on you pull your bar out and you put your cover on here and you tighten it on while you're holding it tight that seems to have worked it's very nice and tight before it kind of hung down a little bit uh, he told me traditional chainsaws, like the big boy chainsaws, have um, a knob that, or a, a screw that you can turn, I guess, or something, that pushes the bar out when you need it to tighten up for the chain. This does not have that. This is all by hand. So I just wanted to give you guys a couple tips in using this. Um, I've used it a little bit more than... I have uh, in one of my previous videos talking about it. I really love it. It's a really good chainsaw and I'm learning little things about it. So I'm just sharing that with you. Uh, I still love it. I do. So anyway, if you're thinking about getting one, I believe Steel is talking about they will be caught up this summer and we'll be able to get some of these out. I hope from what I've read, they've just been behind with the pandemic and everything going on lack of employees and uh, things like that. They've had a high demand. Obviously, people are home working on their, uh, cutting their trees and, and working on their yards. So I think that's probably why they're having a problem. That's at least what they've been saying. So keep a lookout. They may not have this exact one, but they may have something similar. And I do know that there's people out there that have, or I should say companies, chainsaw companies that have, are starting to make their own. I'm sure they're great. I don't know, have not ever used, I didn't even know they had these until I got this for my birthday last year, which I've had this a year. It's coming around. Of course, I didn't use it in the winter time, but I am using it now that it's spring and I wanna get some stuff cleaned up around the house. So anyway, Hopefully that helps you guys in uh, stuff that you want to do. So take care. Thanks for watching.